The last thing we want to say before we end this tutorial is it's actually a good idea for anyone who might be messing with the camera, Bob's bot camera, to uh, experiment with how the gestures work, um, where you can and can't position your fingers to make it lock uh, on and off. Really, the only two gestures you want to mess with, again, are the, the bunny ears, the, the peace sign, right? <clears throat> and then the, the open gesture. If the camera is unlocked, meaning it's freely moving, and you use the don't follow me gesture, um, what's gonna happen is the camera's gonna look for somebody to target. And so you might tell it to stop following you, but if it doesn't find anyone else to target, it might start tracking you again. So really the only way to get it to stop moving um, is, to, uh, is to lock the position using the, the, the peace sign or to press the lock icon on the, um, the bottom left corner of the app like we saw before. But it's a good idea to just mess with the camera settings just to make sure you're comfortable with what might happen, with what might happen uh, when you're in the room. Okay, final step is when we're done, uh, you wanna turn off the camera. Now, there's two ways to turn it off. I mean, really just one way, you have to hit the power button. But we found that during one of our classes, the camera video feed did freeze, okay? Uh, and so what happened is people could see the video, but it was stuck on a frozen frame. Now, we don't know why that happened. It could be a hardware problem, software problem, but we found what we actually had to do is we had to come up and we had to turn off the power button on the camera manually. Nothing else worked. Now, normally when you turn off the camera, you probably have to press the button for maybe two or three seconds. And you'll see when I do that now, I'm pressing the button and it turned off. Now, when the camera feed froze, turning it off that way actually didn't work. We had to press and hold a full five seconds at least before it turned off. So it was like a hard shutdown. Um, so if you do have a frozen video feed during the class, don't panic. Just come over here, do a hard shutdown, and then turn it back on again. And what you might have to do is you might have to go into the OBS Studio software like I showed you before, and uh, you know, reload your video feed, but you should all know how to do that now. And so if we do have a problem with this camera while it's broadcasting, turn off the camera, turn it back on again, uh, close, reopen OBS Studio app, uh, and if you need to, just turn on that video feed again. Um, when that happened, following those steps, fix the problem um, with no real significant problems. Okay, and now that the camera's off, we're noticing that the mobile app says the connection's been interrupted. Of course, because uh, we're connected to a device that's now turned off. So if you ever try to connect your mobile app to the camera and you don't see the OBS tail in your list of Wi-Fi devices, that's probably because you didn't actually turn on the camera. Remember, when you turn on the camera and turn it off, you have to press and hold that power button a few seconds.